let's take a look at something that we sort of previewed during the exam. So we're going to define the external direct product. And I put external in quotes there because this is often just referred to as the direct product. There is another kind of direct product, but this is the one that's the most commonly used. So we have a bunch of groups. Just call them G1 up to GN. And then what we're going to do is say, take as a set an element from the first group, the element from the second group, all the way down, and all possible things like that. Then, all we're going to do is we're going to do the operation as if it was from that group on each element. That sounds way more complicated than what it is. Let's take a look at a simple little example. Now, the book has a bunch of examples where they do the same type of group direct producted together, but it doesn't have to be. So I can do something like take a look at U8 direct product with Z3. So what are the elements of this thing look like? Well, the elements of U8 we know are 1, 3, 5, and 7. The elements of Z3 are 0, 1, and 2. So, U8 direct product with Z3 is the set of all ordered pairs. The first component comes from the 1, 3, 5, 7. The second component comes from 0, 1, 2. So, U8 direct product Z3 is going to be 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 5, 0, 5, 1, 5, 2, and 7, 0, 7, 1, 7, 2. And then for a group operation, when I try and do two elements from this group combined together, we're going to just do the operations one at a time. So let's do something like 3, 1, times 7, 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to get an ordered pair, and that ordered pair is going to come from the operations of the separate groups. So I'm going to do 3 times 7 using the operation of U8, and I'm going to do 1 plus 2 using the operation of Z3. I'm going to specifically use times for U8 and plus for Z3 because those are the standard way we write those operations. So, 3 times 7 is 21. In U8, that's 5. 1 plus 2 is 3. In Z3, that's 0. Let's do another example. Let's say I had something like 5, 0, and I want to do that to 3, 2. So I'm going to do 5 times 3 and 0 plus 2. 15 mod 8, because we're in U8, would be 7. 0 plus 2 is 2. Mod 3 is still 2. Now, what's interesting about this is that it lets us, when we combine it together with the whole idea of isomorphisms, get some pretty interesting results. So, for example, up to isomorphism, 
the only two groups that there are are Z4 and Z2 direct product with Z2. Let's think about that for a second. So Z4 is of course cyclic and any cyclic group with four elements would be isomorphic to Z4. On the other hand, Z2 plus Z2 is not a group with four elements is not cyclic. Now, let's think about the orders of the elements. We know the order of any group element must divide the order of the group. So, since the order of the group is 4, the only possibility the elements are 1, 2, and 4 but we throw out 4 because if we had an element that was order 4, it would be a cyclic group. Okay, we know the only element with order 1 is the identity. So what that says is that every non-identity has order 2. Well, let's start thinking about a Cayley table then. We have to have an identity. We can say A, B, and C. A, B, and C. Okay. We can fill out the identity times anything is that thing. Because they have order 2, Anything times itself has to be the identity. Now we get to a little bit tricky stuff. A, B can't be A because then cancellation would give us that B would be equal to the identity. That can't happen, so A, B can't be A. Similarly, A, B can't be B because then right cancellation would give me that A is the identity, and we know that's not the identity. So, the only possibility for AB, AB has to be equal to C. AC has to be B. And doing that kind of reasoning, we can fill out the rest of the Cayley table. BA would have to be C. BC would have to be A. CA would have to be B, and CB would have to be A. Now, we've got this little Cayley table. I'm going to claim that that Cayley table is the same thing as the Cayley table for Z2, direct product Z2. And I think what you should do is try to create the Cayley table for Z2 plus Z2 and see how corresponding the elements would give exactly the same kind of Cayley table.